Hello everyone and welcome to Big Rock Aquatics. We're doing a store tour showcasing all our very healthy uh, fish we've got here landed and ready for new homes. We're gonna start off with platinum rummy nose and locally raised German blue rams. There's lots of pairs in here. They're just getting ready to pair off and need a little quiet space to start uh, they're happy couple lives. So if you're looking for blue rams, healthy blue rams, large size, these are them. You will not be disappointed. We also have this gorgeous silver arowana. It's pushing probably about nine inches now. Very healthy, eats pellets and flake and frozen and live. We also have a nice selection of larger angelfish, including Marbolds, this really nice silver, wild. We also have one last pearl, pearl scale gold koi. We have a few serpe tetras, nice size, very healthy. And we have lots of really nice plants. So on the left hand side here, there are ozelot swords. You'll see a bunch of different types of anubias here. Again, very healthy, no algaes. Next we have the oriental swords. These are different than the uh, ocelot swords in that they have the nice pink leaves when they first get going. If you're, something, if you're looking for something a little darker, we also have Kleiner bar and Kleiner prince swords. These are these darker leaved, smaller variety. In the back we have a couple remaining flame sword, very similar to the ocelot swords, but the, they have more of the red pigment on the leaves. And then in the back, the huge uh, sword plants are ranger eye swords. So a great use for tanks with angelfish, discus, or any South American tank. Next we have some more tetras. So if you're looking for standard Raminos, these are them. Very healthy, large size. We also have neon tetras. Very healthy, large size. Mind the algae, maybe we should scrape that off a little bit before taking this video, but Hey, it happens. And here we also have some of our stem plants, including the Alt, uh, Alta Nanthera Reineke Pink, uh, but Copa Carolinia. We also have some Anubias, some Dwarf or Compact Amazons. We also have some Tropica Amazon swords if you're looking for smaller foreground swords or foreground plants. We also have this really nice um, red tiger lotus. So moving on, if you look really carefully in the back here, we have glass catfish. These are great in planted tanks. We should probably move them over with the angelfish so we can see them better. But they do really well in schools and enjoy planted tanks. They're a mid-water catfish. And here we also have clown loaches and zebra loaches, which you can't see because they love to hide amongst all these huge plants. Uh, plant selections include Anubius coffeefolia, barter rye, uh, caladifolia. We also have potted flame swords uh, and uh, Atlans berg sword, and I believe there might be one or two uh, Franz Stoffel swords left in here. Moving on to our newer arrivals, we have all these little candy cane tetras. Now these start off small, but they get a nice high body and some deep red color with the gorgeous red and white top fin. These are a nice tetra to add to your tank. We also have little pygmy grammys or croaking grammys or sparkling grammys. They have so many common trade names because they're such an amazing, unique fish. Now these fish will talk to each other by making clicks and croaks um, at any time of the day. They're very interesting fish. Great for most community and planted tanks. We still have very healthy pea puffers. Yep. Very colorful, very well fed on a diet of live foods like white worms, which we have available for sale. Starter culture starting at $5. So if you're looking for a very intriguing 
fish to add to your plotted tank, pea puffers. Now they're recommended to keep in species tanks, but they do okay with certain fish. Now you don't see them in here because they're all hiding, but we do have uh, black coolie loaches in here. Uh, they're usually hiding underneath our filter here. And the reason they do so well is because of the, the different strata that they occupy. We also have green phantom plecos and blue phantom plecos. The green phantoms are about th three inches, three and a half inches. The blue phantoms are pushing six inches. There's a big guy underneath here. And the worms you're seeing are some baby white worms that we have left. Uh, from our last feedings. We also have discus available. In the front we have our tiger turquoise discus. In the back, whoops, are our red centarum discus. They're a little smaller, but they're growing really, really quickly. Moving on to some larger discus, we have both Marlboro Reds and two blue diamond discus with these gorgeous red eyes. Stunning fish if you're looking to add discus to your aquarium. These are nice, healthy, feed on live foods, flakes, frozen, whatever you want to feed, they will eat it. They are hungry, hungry hippos. I mean discus. And finally, actually not quite finally, but starting to look really well are our ghost blue Paraiba angelfish. Now you can see the patches on these guys. That's the glowing green and blue patches are doing well. Mind the one little guy that seems to have a bit of <coughs> chopped off tail. He's been healing really quickly over the last couple days and it's been getting nicer. The other guys are looking great. They're ready for new homes. So whenever you're ready for a Paraiba type angelfish, definitely give these guys a try. You won't be disappointed. And our last little tank is our goldfish tank. So these are great black moors, white and orange arandas, and we have a few calico ryukans left. If you're looking for some nice, healthy goldfish, uh, we have a great selection. In this tank, you also see some Reuben swords. And that's, uh, that's our fish for today. If you're interested in anything, please reach out to us either at bigrockaquatics.com, via email at bigrockaquatics at gmail.com, via Facebook at our Big Rock Aquatics webpage. And we'll respond to you as soon as possible. If you're looking for great new fish this weekend, these are great choices.